Okay, so that's how works flatten function uh, for arrays. There are uh, some cases where you might need it. So it works with a nested array. So as you see, I uh, intentionally created arrays uh, such as this. I'm going to rename it a little bit differently. So three and one, 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 four, just to illustrate uh, the levels of uh, the structures. Okay, so that's uh, what we've got. We have the first level. So this is array with uh, some items on it. And then we have another array inside of this array, right? It also has items. So you see we have twos here. Then we have another array inside of it. It is three, uh, all items with a three. And then we have another array inside of it with a four. So just assume uh, you have such array that might happen in some structures and flatten helps you to work with it. So how works flatten? you uh, provide the array as a first argument and then you provide a depth as uh, like a depth that you want to flat uh, uh, literally your array so with the default one as you can see here it will flatten the kind of one level down so we have array with our one and two in here right well so we we'll still have these layers in it and as you may as you can understand, right? So if I will increase it, we go into get go one uh, one level deeper, and we go into flatten more items. So we have one, two, and three on the same level here, right? And that is already items of the array, and we have one more layer or level. So if we will put three, then all of our items will be added. To the same array so that's uh, how it works and we simply can convert it to one flat array of uh, our items on the same level and then you can do whatever you like same let's say join right just to convert them in one text so that might help you to create let's say a list of all these items as a text elements let's just go here to see all of them so then everything will be returned as a one line of attacks and so on. Hope it helps.